when the anime community is adrift, when it looks like all hope is lost, when quality is a mere dream. We need a hero. Someone who will take the stage to produce the greatest anime reviews ever made. Who will it be? I will be that hero. Oh come on, I totally had that. Yuki Yuna is a Hero is a magical girl drama series that works as a sequel to the light novel Washio Sumi is a Hero by Takahara. It was animated by Studio Gokumi, known for their work on Severing Crime Edge, Nekaimo, and the anime adaptation of Atelier Esche and Logi, Alchemists of the Dust Sky. But without further ado, I present the anime review of Yuki Yuna is a Hero. Five years ago, if I was to present you with a Magical Girl show, you'd have very different expectations than if I were to show you one now. With Madoka Magica rising into the mainstream, the idea of a dark twist has become synonymous with Magical Girl series for many modern anime fans. But in the middle ground, existing between the realm of Moon Tiara magic and the realm of Studio Shaft spookiness, we have Yuki Yuna is a Hero, a show that takes itself seriously with some depressing themes and ideals, yet still holds the messages and overall morals that we expect from traditional Magical Girl shows. Following the aptly named Hero Club, the group members are summoned upon to defend the world from the mysterious vertexes, large beings who threaten the god of their world, the Shinju. With the powers granted by the Shinju and the will to fight, our five protagonists fight it out to defend their world from this invasion. But as they unleash the true power of the heroes, they find that they demand a real cost. I don't know about you, but to me that's a massively intriguing premise up front that draws in a real connection to the world and the mechanics that make it work. It's a streamlined story that takes itself seriously and always has its eyes on the essential plot points that it wants to convey. Even smaller slice of life moments where the characters strive for something more trivial often end up impacting the course of the show later on. The entire theme of let's save the world and do the right thing is a key part of Yuki Yuna and makes up the initial message of the show. However, it's the attack on that ideal that actually makes it interesting. Whilst the base message is genuinely pretty bland, it's the ideals that conflict with that and how the truth of the world itself wants to destroy it that makes it engaging. However, the audience is given little motivation to actually care about the world itself. Who cares if it gets destroyed when we're not introduced to any of the other characters within this world and we're not made aware of the repercussions of their failure? Thankfully that's not at all a large drawback and Yuki Yuna is more about the revelations in this world and how the characters are affected by this change in their lives. This is all supported by narrative pacing that tells a story in itself as it deals us this incredibly compelling plot. Also, it reminds me of Persona 3 and 4 in terms of plot structure, and I fucking love those games. Yuki Yuna is limited to a total cast of 5 main characters with one cameo character from the prequel light novel. We follow this cast of happy-go-lucky characters through the story and watch as they change and adapt to the situation they found themselves in. Condensed into these 12 episodes, each character follows their own arc that ties back into the central plot. However, whilst some of these can be very intense and in some cases heartbreaking, other characters are either ignored or don't seem to have motivations on their own. This is primarily due to the lack of time. Yes, there could have been more time dedicated to character development, but that would mean other scenes would have to be cut short or rushed. For instance, Karen is a new member of the Hero Club and her character arc involves her becoming more involved socially and learning to care about other people rather than just duty. However, this all takes place in the first couple episodes and she ends up being less prominent later on until we're finally reminded of this motivation in the last couple of episodes. 
Another issue I have is one with the protagonist, Yuna, who embodies the very spirit of a hero and strives to protect the world more than anyone. But she's not convincing. As the series goes on, we're attacked with various alternate messages about whether saving the world is worth it, and she doesn't provide any real explanation for why she thinks it is, apart from just saying, it's the right thing to do, and that's what heroes do. And adding the fact that this is a world hard to sympathise with due to the lack of side characters and the general unsettling atmosphere of the place itself, and I found myself rooting against her more than once. But despite that, it is still conflicts of ideals like that that make the show interesting and shape the climax into something intense and action-packed, yet still meaningful in its own way. Whether it be video games, anime, film, or even comic books, something I can always appreciate is what is in the background. Maybe it's due to my own lacking skills, but to have stunning art brought into context has something magical about it. But Yuki Yuna goes beyond this by providing consistent imagery, all tied into the instinctive language of flowers and concept of freedom that just makes for an impressive watch. The blank and demonic forms of the Vertexes also hold value in them as fearsome enemies that turn the beautiful world we're given here grey, and they strongly conflict with all of the colours that our characters have been allocated to present them. It's like De Blob, except not at all. Now add in the music and you truly have a spectacle. With a soundtrack featuring this unique choir and tune without a clear singular influence, it gives off a spiritual impression and sounds like something you might hear from a really funky church. Although there are some occasional points that are much more bland with some forgettable tracks and bland art and animation quality. Yuki Unit is a Hero is a fantastic series and one of my highlights of 2014 as a whole. Through its revelations and world exploration and with the characters' reactions, it delivers something that you will want to get involved with. And the ending, whilst initially a bit of a disappointment, becomes better and better the more you think about it. It is the best iteration of a distorted magical girl story, featuring better foreshadowing and world design than even the critically acclaimed Bundoka Magica, and I highly recommend that you give it a watch. You can watch Yuki Yuna on Crunchyroll, and you can pre-order the first limited edition box set from Pony Canyon USA, which will be released in April. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching The Canopy Effect. Shit, I need to finish my Bahamut review, because I'm running out of time until I have to start Vital 3s.